everyone. Welcome to Camp Creatology. I'm Courtney, and today we're gonna to be making a trinket dish. So grab your supplies and come make it with me. Let's get started. Let's go over all of the supplies that we're going to need to, made up, to make our painted trinket dishes. We're gonna be making two today. We're gonna to be making the round one and the square one. The square one is shaped like cassette tape. And this one is just gonna be the round with the lightning bolt. Or you can create it like an old CD or whatever you would like. So you can go to the Camp Creatology website to find all of these instructions as well as the supplies that you need. But the most important parts are going to be the air dry clay that we have with the Creatology brand as well as the acrylic paint. I've pulled the three colors that I'm gonna use as well as the paint brushes. I also like to use the palette instead of a paper plate, but you can absolutely use a paper plate or an extra piece of paper. Um, for this project, it's really important to make sure you have a piece of scratch paper down. So I have that to start with and make sure that we don't get the paint or the clay on our tables or countertops or floor or wherever we are doing our project. So make sure you grab some kind of scratch paper and then all your supplies and we will get started. So the first one that we're going to be creating is going to be this one. We've got our clays and we are going to mix all of these to make one color. So you can get super creative with your clays. That's the best part. You could also just use white or whatever color you want but for this one we're going to use these three colors so first you want to take the clay and just knead it in your hands for just a few seconds to make sure it's nice and soft so i'm going to take all three of my colors and do that And we're just gonna roll them all together. So at first it comes out to our little marbled look, which looks super cool in itself. But we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep kneading it together and see what color we get. This project is gonna get painted red, so it doesn't really matter, but we just wanna make sure that you know the cool colors that you can create. So with the two colors of pink and the orange mixed together, we have made this beautiful salmon color. This could be a point where you stop if you wanted it to be this color. But like I said, we are going to paint it. So at this point, you have all the clay that you need. We're gonna roll it into a nice smooth ball. And with this one, I like to roll it out just a little bit to make it a nice oval. So then we can start forming our rectangle. So we're gonna start by getting it to the width that we want, and then we're just gonna pinch the edges up just like this to make the lips of the dish. So make sure you do that to all four sides. And if you don't get it perfect the first time, you can roll this back into a ball and start over again. The air dry clay does take a little while to get its final shape, so you have several chances of reforming it to make it as perfect as you would want it. I'm 
I'm just rubbing some of my fingerprints out now. I mentioned before we are going to paint it so it's not too much of an issue. But that does give me a nice smooth surface for painting. And look at that. We have our perfect little rectangle dish. We're gonna set it just to the side and we're gonna prep our paints. So we can set these two colors aside and we're gonna get ready for our red. Just give it a little bit of a shake to make sure it's all mixed together. Now when you buy the Creatology paints, they're gonna have this little lid right here on the top. It does have this little plastic piece and you can just very carefully pull that apart. This might be some a place where you wanna have a grown up help you. But I'm just gonna take it and put a little bit on my plastic palette here. So now we're gonna start painting our dish. We do wanna leave this circle here in the middle, this long oval, because the yellow going over the red is kind of hard to see. So we are gonna leave that little area, but we can start painting the rest. If you want to let your clay dry completely before painting, that's absolutely fine. You can always pause the video and come back. But with the texture of this paint, and the clay, you can go ahead and paint right after you get it formed as well. So I'm gonna start with just this area. And then I'm going to carefully go around the sides as well. Go ahead and form your oval for the middle. just like that, so that way the yellow doesn't have to go over. If you don't want to paint it the same color that I am, that's absolutely fine. And if you don't know what a cassette tape is, that's when you definitely need to go find a, a grown up and just ask them to show it to you. When I was younger, this is how we listened to all of our music. Some might consider it vintage at this point. So now we're getting all the edges. This is why the scratch paper is perfect because it's not a big deal if we get some of the paint on it because at the very end, we're just gonna throw it away. Make sure we do all four sides. If you do get some paint down on your scrap paper and then you leave it and it gets stuck to the bottom, that's absolutely fine. You can always cut around it and have it on the base for later. Gives it a little more support. You cannot do this wrong. going to give a little bit more up to the top and as I've been painting my sides have fallen just a little so I'm just going to come behind and fix it. Now because we want to give this plenty of time to dry to add the other colors we're gonna set this one aside and then we're gonna go and start working on our circular dish. So once you have the red completed, you can just move that one over to the side. So 
since we have a little bit of a mess, I'm going to slide a clean piece of paper right underneath. make sure that I don't get any paint on my next bit of clay. It's always good to have some paper towels or some, some wet wipes around to help wipe off some of the paint. You also can take some time and run to the sink in either the kitchen or the bathroom and wash your hands off and get the leftover paint and clay. For our circular dish, we are gonna be taking three more colors. We have the purple, the red, and the white. And I'm actually gonna show you a little bit of a different technique this time. Instead of mixing them all together, we are going to make it a marble look. So we're gonna get all of our clay out. the white. The purple. And of course the red. So we're going to do the same thing as we did with the rectangle trinket dish. We're just going to take the clay and we're just going to knead it around in our hands and our fingers for just a few seconds to get it soft. three colors and then what we're going to do for marbling is we're going to take each of our colors we're going to roll it into a ball and then make the ball to almost like a little snake so there's our colors and we're going to add the third. Once again, you can use whatever colors you like if you have a favorite. So I'm going to take those three colors. I'm going to give them a little bit of a stretch first and then we are just going to twist them. So just twist it around like that. You can see what that looks like. And then we're just going to roll it into a little ball. If you want the marbling to be a little bit thinner, you can roll it out into another snake and keep going. But I like this look. So once I have it in the ball, I'm just going to flatten it with my hand. And that gives you the perfect circle. We're gonna gently pat it down. You can decide which side you like best. I think they both look super cool. I think I like this side better. So then we're just gonna start pinching the edges up to make the edges of your circular dish. So as you can see, mine's about the width of my thumb. Your thumbs and fingers might be a little bit smaller than mine. So you might just wanna do it a little bit bigger than your thumb. And we're gonna make a nice edge around all of the areas of our circle. You can smooth it out your little bowl. And look at 
that. Feel free to take as much time as you would like to make it as perfect as you'd like. But no art ever has to be perfect. That's the best part about it. You can't do it wrong because it's yours. So now that we have our little dish, I'm gonna go ahead and paint on a lightning bolt. So I have my yellow. And if you're using too dark of color for your clay, you can always switch it up and use a darker color. We're gonna see what happens. Once again, we're just gonna lift that up very carefully. That might be a great part for a grown up. And I'm gonna use one of the smaller brushes. This one is the one with the slanted edge. We're just gonna put a little bit of yellow on our paint palette. For our lightning bolt, we're just gonna start painting it on. The slanted edge makes it really easy to get those sharp, crisp lines that we need to make lightning. start filling in. Because of the dark colors underneath, it may take a coat or two. Fill that all the way in. We're going to take a little piece of scratch paper. And we're just going to fan it off. Get that yellow as dry as you can. So after we've let that dry for a minute, we're just gonna go in with a little bit more and then we're gonna let this coat dry while we go back to our rectangle dish. All right. Now that we are done with that, let's get our rectangle dish and see how it's doing. It's dried up nicely, still has a couple of wet spots, and now that I've pulled it over, I can see a couple spots I missed. But that's absolutely fine. We can just add those because it's just the corners that we're not going to be touching. I also have some fingerprints on the side from touching it. 
We can fix those. And we're gonna give this just about 10 seconds as well. This is always a good time if you wanted to. You could pause the video, let everything dry and come back. But we like to get it done. So we're gonna come back in with our yellow at this point and we're gonna fill in this circle or oval that we had left behind. And this is for the center of our cassette tape. Luckily, I can use the exact same brush that I was just using on the circular dish. So now that that is all filled in, we can then get ready for our dark blue or purple. And this is the part that we're gonna do the edges to make it look like the cassette tape. So give it a little shake. And we're gonna go ahead and open this one as well. If you wanted to in the very beginning, you could prep all of your paint and go ahead and get it on your palette from the start. If you wanted to have a grown up come and get all of those open and get them ready for you. You could absolutely do that. So we're gonna use one of our smaller brushes to be able to come in and do that side. We don't need very much of this color at all. And you wanna make sure you don't have too much on your brush when you come around to do the edges. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go all around the top. And we're just gonna trace the entire rectangle. And we're gonna do all four sides with this darker color. You could use black or whatever color that you wanted to give these nice crisp edges. As we're going around, we're just being very careful. I'm leaving the dish where it is so I don't put any more fingerprints in it. I'm just going all around to give it that look. Now we're going to take our color and we're just going to come down and around another little oval or rectangle. So now that we've done that, then we can come in and we're gonna make the circles just like on the beginning one. If you wanted the yellow to dry a little bit more at this point, you could. I'm just gonna go ahead and come in. We're gonna make two circles. One on either side. Make sure my edges are all good and drying correctly. And there you have it. Here's the original and here's the new one that we just made. 
We're gonna come back to our circle now and we're just gonna do the last little bit. See if we can add just a little more yellow to make that lightning bolt just a little bit more defined. You can always come back later. We just want to be as yellow as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same dark color and I'm just gonna outline it. Since it already has that color, just to add a little bit more to this one. If you wanted this piece to be a sun or a moon or another kind of shape instead of a lightning bolt, you could. You could make a rainbow, whatever you want. This is your project. You can be as creative as you would like. And there we have it. There are our two dishes. So we have our examples, and then we have our two trinket dishes. Thank you so much for coming and crafting with me today in Camp Creatology. We hope to see you um, for one of our other amazing projects this summer.